guys like to keep track of that. This is information. <laughs> Your umpire, Glenn Barrow. Your headlines are Mark Allen, line judge Adam Bergman, field judge Anna Albury, the side judges Charlie Morrison, and your back judges Joe Strong. How much time we got left in that interview, too? Let's play some football. St. Marie trying to make this a 7 0 ball game. So Hope smashed in the mouth in the first yeah. point. Of the yeah. point is blocked by the Hope. Yeah. 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 6 0 yeah. for Landia. He just joined the first down. Landia 6. Hope oh. Ball is nothing. For 85 yards. And from Landia gets on the board. So Hope College, who won the toss and they deferred the football to the second half, will get the football. Let's take a look at the offense for Hope College. Quarterback Mason Decker, the senior out of Hudsonville, will have a front line of Zach Smith at center, the senior from Sutton's Bay. Randy Anderson, the left guard out of Beverly Hills, he's a junior. Tim Ivory, the three-year starter, the senior from Winfield Hills, he's the left tackle starter. Noah Develder from East Coast Rapids, playing in his 25th game, he's a senior right guard and right tackle, Randy Eden, the junior out of Hamilton playing in his 18th game. Shake Running back at Kenya Houston, the sophomore out of Chicago, Illinois, fifth in the league in yardage, averaging 85 yards per game. But wide receivers, Corey Deer, the senior out of Northview, Cooper Caccini wearing number three, the senior from Hudsonville, and Imari Hardy, the junior from Mesquite and Warner Shorts, gets the start today at wide receiver. Christian Voss is out today as uh, well as T.J. McKenzie. Luke Beckler, the H-back, sophomore out of Plymouth, Michigan, will be the start. Alliance, at the UC, Temple College. Number one, Amari Hardy, number three, Carter Nassiger. 
Knopfsiger and Hardy back deep as K with a good boot. End over end line drive low and chases Knopfsiger back to his own three yard line. Takes it outside the numbers on the five yard line. Lowers ahead at the 25 and falls through the 30. And for Knopfsiger, he's averaging 25 yards and here come the Flying Dutchman on offense, first and 10, they tail. Yeah, yeah, well, the Here's the defense for the Lions. Uh, the first uh, round of Detroit. Here's Dave Carlson. Yeah. 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 Benetti, Stapleton, Creighton, and McDonald, the linebacker set for Finland in the secondary. Uh, two sophomores, a junior, and a freshman. Blevins, the freshman. Anthony, the sophomore. As well as uh, Chris Moore and Bradley, St. Ford. First hand out of Houston. Busted outside after taking the field. Busted outside of the 45 and Good pickup of 17 as Kenny A. Houston averaging over 17 yards. We have 19 yards. And the college is off and rolling. First down for the five yard touchdown strike on the first play from scrimmage for Finlandia. But they get their first first down of the game, averaging almost 22 a game. That's third in the MIAA. Houston stands behind Mason Oppel, a 65% passer. He's got three receivers, two on the right, one on the slot. Now Beckler in motion near side on first and 10 from the 47. Straight handoff. Kenya Houston breaks the tackle. Just to the outside. 40, 35, 30 foot race to the far side and pushed out of bounds. He's a wide receiver for the game. Back as Finlandia dresses on the 16th, I checked that 29 today. They're really short-handed. It's a big pickup. First down, 35 for Kenya Houston. We'll get there, we'll get there. Ball first down to the 25 yard line. First down, Hope. That was 50 yards and two carries for Houston. First and 10 from the 25 of Finlandia from the far hash. Hope moving left to right under overcast skies. The lights are on here at McAfee. Play action to Mellon. Play over the middle. Dominic Murray. Yeah, yeah. oh, And his longest of his season at 25 yards and first touchdown reception of the year. Mason Apple makes it a 6-6 game as he has now thrown his touchdown pass of the season. All Britain, the special team player of the week for the MIAA, will try and make it a 7-6 lead. The hold by David Boss and the snap for Michael Moret. Just like that. And 70 yards for the touchdown. Morelli wide open. Right on the end zone line. Other action today in the MIAA. Adrian taking on the Albion Britons in the Albion this afternoon. That's a one o'clock start. It, uh, uh, check that. Uh, Albion at Kalamazoo today. Excuse me, taking on the Hornets. That's a two o'clock start. Olivet travels to Angola, Indiana to take on the Trying Thunder. And Alma taking on Adrian. That's a five o'clock start. That's the latest start of the day. This is the earliest start in the MIAA this afternoon. Yeah, uh, Andy Long and 93 Sepsis fans. Yeah. 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 Five yards. Yeah. 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 Out of Lake Fenton High School. Will approach you. That one is a squib. And it lands into the hands of Josh Eve on the 10 yard line. He tries to take it to the middle of the field. Good job, guys. Uh, white jerseys with the white pants, the orange helmet on the blue. Get that ball! 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 And the quarterback is Darren Johnson. Power sweep. We got a flag in the play, lowering the head on the near side between the numbers and the hash marks is Bailey Harris. Bailey Harris out there to the line. 
Pikes there's a flag on the play. Picks up five, but we'll see what that's all about. Let's check this offense for Finlandia. The front line, Wilson Spryer, second team all MIAA last year at center. The guards, Mike Binninger and Steve Knudsen. And the tackles, Brian Bouchard, junior starter, and Jacob Clark, uh, two juniors, looking at tackles against Finlandia. Holding ball on the line. Yeah, holding ball in Finlandia. Almost six penalties a game. Penalty 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 penal
Situation for the Dutchman. Uh, put it on the hands of the 16. Corey Durr from North Carolina. Start putting the haul it in. It'll be a punting situation. Austin Harris. Had an interesting week last week. He averaged only 26 yards on his punts, but he did have two that were on the short side of things, and he tried to pooch kick it, but averaging 37. On the season, rushes on good, good, high spiral. Forces back Josh, even his own 23. Fair catch is called. On their own 32 yard line. Check that, their own 22. Set the defense for the Flying Dutchman, the front three, Jake Babb. Uh, check that Bab is not in the lineup. I don't see him, but he might have not made the trip. There was talk that he might not. We've got Darrell Tolbert, the nose tackle. Drew Aldhaus, the junior out of London, the defensive end. And then the other side is Robin Schultz, the nose guard, moving around to defensive tackle. So that's the front three. Nick Holt, the senior linebacker from Muskegon Catholic Central, gets the start. West Ottawa product, Mason Decker. Sweep to the outside, Bailey Harris. As he right. missed tackle in the backfield, Cornell had a hand Good lateral movement by that Pope defense. Purnell, the junior out of Wyoming High School, makes a start to the South Carolina Stewart for the loss of one out there. Brings up a second down and 11 for Purnell. Secondary, Ryan Young, the defensive back from Salem High School, the sophomore. Senior, David Boss out of Hudsonville Unity Christian gets to start at one safety. The other safety. Connor Nemers leads the team with two interceptions, the senior from West Catholic. And Chandler Brown, the junior out of Woodstock, Georgia, with career interceptions totaling three, lines up the secondary. And second down, and 12. Rolling right as Johnson, he fires that one. Right. Off the Third down and 11. Third and loss, well, I'm sure. scored on a razzle dazzle flea flicker play, play on the first play of the game. Went for 85 yards. Court came right back, three plays, 70 yards, culminating in a Mason opportunity. Johnson's hot attack to Josh Eves is intercepted by number five, Chandler Brown. Seventh interception of the defense on the year. Talked about the Dutchman last year's victory. They started with seven of their 13 drives in the first down. Now they do so for the first time today. Mason Offer, on my double A quarterback last year from the near hash moving left to right. He's got Houston in the backfield. Houston gets a handoff from Oppo. He's tripped up at the line of scrimmage and brought down by Christian Creighton, the leading tackler for the Lions. A freshman out of Gladstone, Michigan. Okay, Houston on the carry up the middle. Actually leads the MIW tackle by number 52, Christian Creighton. It's his first tackle, but not before. He has three on his play, but it's second down seven. Houston has an official over 60 yards over the rush. Second down, we'll call it Along six, Beckler in motion, lines up each back left side. Off left tackle goes Houston, lowers ahead at the 30, inside to the 25. <laughs> Strong surge off the left side. Flying Dutchman, first down. And his counterpart, Tim Ivory. Senior left tackle. And Ivory's lost 15 pounds and looks a lot leaner than last year. Moving much quicker. And 
a three-year starter providing a good gap with Anderson for Houston. First and ten. From the 25, power sweep, Anderson trying to get around the corner, and he does. Stutter steps and dances on that side line and pushed out inside the seven ground and Anderson on the carry for him. Well of all the up to the top of the game after the three contest in the top twenty-five. So Major College speaking up Grand Valley playing in the second down and two here taking on Northern Michigan and Gleak play. First quarter. Second down and two. Pickup of eight by Anderson. Oscar lines up at the lone receiver on the near side. Man in motion. Flipped to Morelli. Wide receiver trying to cut the edge on the rush inside the 20. 15. Fourth of the mile. Catch the first down and more. Morelli. He's trying to see that a lot with Christian Voss. He'll get that jet sweep. Morelli on the next play. First down for the Flying Dutchman. They can run the score. 12-yard line. Home college, first down. Check that, they did 11. First and 10 from the Finlandi, 11 from the near hash mark. Oh, the touchdown and the safety, they did 9 to 6. Sweet. Outside, left side. Anderson cuts it inside, moves to the outside. There are a lot of home fans here today. Takes away to the end zone. And Brandon Anderson, power sweep on the far side of things, pounds it in from 11 yards out. His third touchdown rush of the season. And Hope takes a 15 to 6 lead. Number 61, Saturday. Albright, kick the extra point for Hope College. Eight minutes into this football game. It's Drew Albright, special team for MIAA Player of the Week. Last week in the MIAA, seven extra points, 24 yard field goal. And on the home from David Boss. Trailing early. And an 85 yard touchdown strike by Finlandia. So, shock on that play is well over. Hope settling in. Unofficially on that drive, five plays. Scores now. Hope call it 16 and you're playing Reliance 6. Touchdown, John. All the numbers coming up in our halftime show. Montgomery will kick it off. Rain has subsided at the moment. The lights are on here at McAdoo Field. Phenomenal field. Uh, no, field turf. Big Lion logo adorns the 50 yard line. Wind is moving a little bit from our left to the right. Dylan Hilger on the kick from the North College. The South Back to the receive the Lions. Sitting to the right. Kenny Q. Sitting to the right. Number four, Josh Key. Line one side of the field underneath the booth. Yeah, it's like. High booming kick. Fielded at the three yard line. Eve. Takes it straight up the field. Goes to the outside, slips the tackle to 20 from the 25. Yeah. 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 Crosses the 20 yard line. It's marked at the Philandia 27. First and 10 from Randy. Jake Babb and Joe Romano. They did not make the trip. It was confirmed that Jake Babb did not make the trip. We knew that 